Well, hello world. I'm here behind my Olympus EM5 here, uh, trying to film my record player here. Uh, this is because I discovered an app called Turntabulator on one's mobile phone. I don't know what I'm doing there. Uh, don't know what I've just clicked. But yeah, um, this is a, an app that will tell you exactly how fast your turntable platter is running. And uh, a couple of things inspired me to get this thing. First of all, um, I watched this video by this chap called Roy Unit who made a video about the Crosley turntables and he did a comparison of a vintage Panasonic uh, hi-fi record deck and a Crosley and the Crosley was playing obviously very fast, very high pitched um, and there were about sort of 10, 12 seconds sort of differences between the track lengths of the songs that he did comparisons of. Um, also, uh, this other YouTuber, whose name I forget now, I beg your pardon, who uh, actually uh, did a belt comparison of various different belts for uh, Riga turntables. Now, I think he had something that looked like a modified P3. It certainly had a ceramic platter and it had a metal sub platter, but it didn't... Uh, it certainly wasn't uh, an, an RP10 or an RP8. Um, this is an RP8, by the way. And I thought I would just see, because uh, if I take this off here, I'm trying not to do any damage here. Okay, but here we go. Let's take this off here. Right, you can see the metal subplatter underneath here. I don't know if I can lift this with one hand. I'll try. Okay, but there we go. This is the double belt system in uh, the RP8. Now he had a single belt um, and he did a test of the standard Riga black belt, uh, the upgrade white belt, oh golly, and uh, a couple of sort of aftermarket belts and it sa sounded like the aftermarket belts were more accurate. Also, yesterday, because I've got an elderly relative who has a musonic thing, um, it's uh, sort of very close relative of the Crosleys really and uh, poor thing he had this thing behind a mirror it's because it's got a broken stylus he had it behind a mirror and he had a CD uh, radio cassette thing on top of the damn thing <laughs> but I thought I wonder how fast that is now the Musonic thing that my relative has um, that ran at 33 and a third uh, that ran at 34.7 RPM and about 46.4 RPM, something like that. So obviously, again, very, very fast indeed. Uh, so fast that you would probably notice that. OK, so we're going to see, we're going to have a little go and see what the uh, RP8 spins at. I have done this before, by the way, so I do know. OK, so I'm going to turn it on. OK, this is 33. Okay, and I'm going to try and catch this thing. Sorry, motor here. Uh, if I do that, okay, it sort of gives you a display thing as it's calculating it. It doesn't average. There are other apps on here. It's saying wait, and it's telling me that it's going at 33.6 RPM, which is tiny wee bit fast just ever so tiny I'll spin again okay and see if we get a different result but it's a tiny wee bit fast not anything you'd notice by the way wait I'm waiting what's this 33.6 again okay so if I change the speed down here to 45 okay I very rarely play singles and that's a bottle of record cleaning or stylus cleaning fluid there that I'm just knocking off my shelf I very rarely play 45s but here we go okay spin again I'm spinning who are so you're getting a lot of reflections here by the way Here we go. Wait, I'm waiting. And what are we getting here? 
45.5 RPM. So again, a wee bit fast. Spin again. It normally prints up something like ideal or something like that, but I think I'm probably stopping it too quickly. We'll see what it says here. Wait, I'm waiting. It says here, I keep repeating that joke. All right, so that's going round. Uh, it normally, it, it's saying, t it's telling you how much of a percent it is fast. It's less than 1% fast anyway. So it's, oops a daisy. Let me just try spinning that again and just see whether or not it gives you its final sort of result. It usually says something like ideal or exact or something like that. Right, it's still spinning round. Can't really see what that's saying there. Ideal, it's saying ideal. Okay, so in other words, it's actually not too bad. Okay, let's just see what it says for the 33 one again. We'll do 33 again, sorry. Okay, I can't imagine this actually having a very um, sort of major use at least on the Riga turntables if you've got a, if you're trying to sort out a vintage turntable um, trying to get the speed right one of these things would help or if you've got one of those sort of technicsy things that's got a strobe light around the outside of the platter rather than using the strobe light to adjust your speed you could use this or you could use this and then check with the strobe light whatever or the other way around so we're still on 33.6 so it does show how constant it is I mean, I said in my last video about the blurb on the record sleeves that um, it's very hard to actually engineer a deck that spins exactly at 33.6. The guy that did the test on the different belts put it down to the sort of tension in the belt. Um, but I mean, again, this is saying ideal. You're not going to notice any difference here, but you will notice the difference if you've got something like a Crosley or something like that, that... Uh, that uh, constantly goes you know more than one rpm fast i mean that is just ridiculous anyway i will leave it there okay thank you for watching goodbye rp8 for now